Under pressure, North Korea shows no sign of changing course. Since this test of a new solid fuel ballistic missile last month, China has banned coal imports from its neighbor. Malaysia is carrying out diplomatic retribution against Pyongyang after Kim Jong-un's half-brother was killed on its soil. And the Trump administration is reportedly examining military options, among others, to tackle one of its thorniest foreign policy concerns. But the missile tests continue. At approximately 7.36 in the morning, North Korea fired four ballistic missiles towards the eastern coast from the area of Dongchang-ri, North Pyongyang province. We perceive that the flight range was approximately 1,000 kilometers. Japan said three of the missiles splashed down inside its exclusive economic zone. Japan lodged strong protest against North Korea. The ballistic missile fired this time shows clearly that North Korea has become a new kind of threat. North Korea regularly fires missiles at this time of year, often perceived as a response to annual exercises carried out by U.S. and South Korean forces. But under Kim Jong-un, the pace of missile tests has increased substantially. North Korea's leader has made a viable nuclear weapon a priority, and that means a range of options for delivering it. South Korea's acting president says the threat is real and imminent. I strongly condemn that North Korea disregarded our and the international community's consistent warning and fired ballistic missiles again, and it is direct challenge to the globe and serious provocation. Huang says it's now all the more necessary to deploy the U.S. THAAD anti-missile system at this site in southern South Korea, despite hardening Chinese objections. In Malaysia, North Korea's ambassador complied with a demand to leave the country. But his government insisted its will to strengthen its military and nuclear capabilities would remain unchanged unless the U.S. changed its, quote, hostile policy. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, Seoul.